Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda. They call me Keto Granny. I have earned that name because I have lost over 100 pounds doing the ketogenic diet. This diet has been very helpful for me. It has helped me get healthier. It has helped me have a quality of life that I don't believe I would have had if I would not have found the ketogenic diet and started using it in my everyday life. Now, I don't consider it a diet. I made keto my lifestyle. So most of the foods that I eat are keto friendly foods, but sometimes I fall off. I fall off and I eat more carbs than I really need to. And I gain weight. Um, my scale fluctuates. Um, I have a huge weight gains. I have weight losses. So my lifestyle is a normal lifestyle full of ups and downs as far as with weight loss. Um, I go through different changes as far as um, with my health. Um, if you have some health issues, as you know, you're going to see your scale fluctuate up and down during these times. So I experience all of these type of things and I'd like to share them with you to let you know what you can expect on your weight loss journey, but also on your life journey. Um, I like to share things with seniors to let them know um, what to expect because you can use food, you can use exercise, nutrition, meditation, and relaxation to actually turn your life around where you have a good quality life, when you learn to add these things into it. Um, I take medications, but by adding these things into my lifestyle, it has really made a great difference and that's what I want to share with you because I want you to know that you can live a great quality lifestyle just by changing um, the foods that you eat. It can really, really make a difference. So I made a video a little bit earlier talking about some of the foods that you can eat on the ketogenic diet or foods that has really, really helped me. Now I want to share some things that you really need to avoid eating if you're going to do the ketogenic diet. And the number one thing on my list is sugar. You're going to have to avoid anything that has to do with sugar. Now sugar is found in so many, many things that we eat today and especially the processed foods, the boxed foods. Try to avoid all processed and boxed foods and you will avoid a lot of sugars. You want to avoid breads. Breads, um, especially if you're first starting off on the ketogenic diet, you want to really try to avoid all baked goods. That includes the cakes, the pies, the pastries, anything that is baked, you want to try to avoid when you're first starting off on the ketogenic diet. This is going to help you get used to eating naturally. You want to avoid grains. You want to avoid um, corn, barley, wheat, those type of things. You want to avoid grains. Um, as they say, grains aren't really meant for us as humans to eat. Grains they use to fatten up things, okay? You're wanting to avoid that and you're wanting to avoid doing that. So avoid grains. You want to avoid starches. Um, things like potatoes turn into starch. So try to avoid potatoes. Um, I, I don't um, say don't eat potatoes because sometimes I do add a potato into my diet, especially sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, I believe, are more of a complex carb. So um, your body, I believe, absorbs it, takes it longer to um, use that. And so those are good. I will explain that one day because I need to understand that better myself. Simple carbs and complex carbs. The simple carbs, I believe, are the ones that um, your body uses really, really quick. Those carbs and you crave more. The complex carbs, I believe, are carbs that your body um, uses slowly. And therefore, you don't crave them. I have such a great spike after eating those type of carbohydrates. <clears throat> you want to avoid sugar and sugary drinks, 
especially sodas. This was a problem that I had. I'm starting the ketogenic diet was drinking sodas. Finally, I got that under control. And then every now and then I started having diet sodas. I still do that to this day. Occasionally have a diet soda, but it's not something that you should work into your diet on a regular basis to replace the sodas that you already drink. A lot of the sugary drinks or the diet sodas contain artificial sweeteners. And artificial sweeteners are not good for you either. I'm not going to go into which ones or anything like that. So I just basically say artificial sweeteners aren't something that you want to eat every day either on the ketogenic diet. It's okay to use artificial sweeteners occasionally, but it's not something that you want to work into your diet on a regular basis either. Processed foods. Avoid processed foods. Processed foods contain a lot of hidden carbohydrates. They contain a lot of hidden sugars um, by many other names. So avoid processed foods that contain a lot of sodium also. And these are all things that you have to pay attention to on the ketogenic diet because you do want your electrolytes to be properly balanced. Avoid cereal. Cereal was hard for me to stop eating because it was so easy. Your boxes of cereal, you get your milk, and you eat. Such an easy and simple meal, but cereal is so full of sugar and really products that are not good for you. Avoid cereal. Cereals are very handy, but avoid cereals and um, stop eating them. Now, I did crave cereal one time, so I made a keto cereal. And what I had, and I believe I had something like... Um, I really don't remember, but I'm, I'm going to see if I can find that and share share it with you. And it, it was very, very good. It was crunchy. I know I had different type of nuts in there and um, a few other things. So I will share that with you. I'm going to try to find that. Alcohol. You want to avoid alcohol. Alcohol is going to just do away with all of the work that you have done. And I know this because I love these little sugary drinks, these daiquiri drinks. And I have to really work on not drinking those because I like them so much. I will do everything I'm supposed to do, have a great, great day. And then at the end of the day, I want to have one of those little daiquiri drinks. Um, and sometimes I just believe that that does away with all of the hard work that I have done for that day. Avoid juices. Avoid juices. You're only drinking sugar. The same as the sugary drinks, okay? So just avoid juices also. Um, what I have done, though, is to get in like a diet juice. I get a juice that's very low sugar. And I'll take that and pour just a little bit in the glass and then fill the rest with water. And that makes like a, a, a seltzer. Um, so, you know, you might can do that sometimes and get away with it, but it's not something that I would do every day either. Avoid candy. Okay, avoid the Butterfingers and the Almond Joys and the Paydays, the Kit Kats. And I've already said to avoid baked goods, especially for starting out on the ketogenic diet. Now, as you progress through your diet and you see what foods you can eat, the foods that really work for you, you may want to um, occasionally add in some baked goods and you want to make sure that you're um, making keto baked goods or keto friendly baked goods that you are using. <coughs> Excuse me. And last but not least, the diet products. Um, diet products contain a lot of artificial sweeteners, um, maltodextrin dextrose, um, corn syrup, um, high fructose corn syrup. Diet products contain a lot of artificial sweeteners. Processed foods contain a lot of artificial sweeteners. So make sure that you're reading labels on uh, different foods and products that you're buying. Make sure that you're reading the labels. Um, um, you want to look at the things such as um, the protein, you want to look at the fat, you want to look at the carbohydrates, but you also want to look at the ingredients that are in the product 
and in the food that you're buying so that you will know what you are really eating. Now, this list was just to provide you with some things to avoid um, if you're doing the ketogenic diet and if you want to be successful and see some weight loss. Anyhow, this is Keto Granny saying thanks for joining my channel um, this evening. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment below. Anyhow, I'll see you on the next show.